among the ocean's mightiest monster fish, this fish is one of the biggest bullies. Pure muscle packed into a compact killer package. Fearless, aggressive, outmaneuvering the competition, they swoop in at turbo speed, decimating prey. The giant trevally. The giant trevally makes me think of a Shelby Cobra. A lot of power into a pretty small package that accelerates like nobody's business. Tropical Pacific Alpha Predators, giant trevallies patrol reefs with attitude. Capable of reaching nearly 68 kilograms, stretching over one and a half meters long, trevallies harass everything in sight, even sharks. Here, a trevally takes food right out of a barracuda's ripping jaws. They'll strike from the blind side of, of the prey, whether it's uh, bright light or dark water. They take advantage of the natural surroundings to make themselves invisible until they're too close to be avoided. And behind every bully, there's a formidable weapon. A thick, muscular body focuses power through a narrow area known as the caudal peduncle, giving giant trevallies powerful tail fins and stunning speed. With such aggressive power, the giant trevally is one of nature's toughest targets, turning a catch into a contact sport. Sometimes it'll just smack you into the side of the boat, it'll, it'll strike so hard. The intensity and the adrenaline pump. These little 150s, the 150s, well, I don't know, they seem to pull some strikes, eh? I don't know. Last one has gone, already. January the 29th, 2008, New Caledonia in the South Pacific. Aussie angler Luke Worcester sets out with friends to chase the giant trevally, called GT for short. For passionate fishermen like Luke, this muscular fish is a fierce opponent that must be treated with respect. The GT, they are a gangster of the reef. They are so tough. I have such a mutual respect for this fish. Nice one, mate. It's my life. GT fishing is my life. And catching this monster fish is no easy task. I specifically am training just for GT fishing. Cramps up there, cramps in the bicep, and cramps up here, cramps in the forearm. If you're not in shape, GTs will find your weakness. The environment alone is challenging. I'll just take the boat over here and just spin it around back into the wind just to give you a good angle. GT live a few kilometers offshore, often amongst huge waves. Out here, Luke and his friends throw cast after cast. And they aren't the only predators on the hunt for GT. Sharks also circle ominously beneath. Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him. Reef shark, reef shark. Oh, it's already sharked him. We've just hit a patch of bait. Got our lure in the middle of it, hooked up a GT, and as soon as we've hooked up, we've had a big shark, big whaler shark. Well, needs no words. As dusk approaches, the group decides to stop for the day. But Luke casts one last time. One last casting. Oh, yep. And quickly feels a massive tug on the line. Sometimes a big GT can just maul and just throw up water everywhere. And you know, that's a big fish. Sometimes they can slurp it. This was one of those strikes. In an effort to pull the GT off the reef, the anglers gun the boat. But the Trevally has other plans. Amazingly, this tenacious fish is overpowering the vessel. It wasn't moving. If anything, the fish was pulling us back to the reef with the boat. As soon as they pull you back to the reef, you're gone. They'll cut you off, and you'll have lost all your hard work. That's a big one, big one. 
To make matters worse, the giant Trevally is ripping the rod from Luke's hands. He's got that rod dug straight into his gut, like, you know, he's going to need surgery to remove it. He's holding on for grim life, just trying to get as much gain on that fish as he possibly can. The angler struggles to get his footing and stay in the boat, but his arms are losing sensation. In this brutal tug of war, Luke is losing. As Luke fights to stay focused, the wrestling match rages for an excruciating 30 minutes. My muscles were full of lactic acid and they were ready to give up. Slowly but surely, I was able to start pumping and whining and slowly she started coming up. As the fish surfaces, the anglers get their first glimpse of the heavyweight on the other end of the line. When I saw that fish for the first time, I, I had no words. I was speechless. Oh, it's big. My God. <laughs> it's a Goliath. It looked like a Volkswagen. The giant Trevally's built on a monster scale, the biggest the group has ever seen. To get this monster on board, it'll take the strength of three men. As the six metre long vessel bounces on the churning sea, the fishermen try to hoist the Trevally onto the boat. With a final coordinated pull, at last, they've got it. It was taking up all the space. We had, we had no space to move. We just had this big slab-sided GT, and we almost didn't know what to do with it. It was that big. The giant Trevally's over 60 kilograms and an estimated one and a half meters long, a Goliath of the reef. It's the catch of a lifetime, but Luke is passionate about fish species survival. He knows he must release the GT as soon as possible. Pumping the fish's gills with seawater to keep it breathing, he carefully places his catch back in the ocean. Once we released that fish, she, she gave a few kicks, but then she started to descend. But she didn't descend normally. She turned on her side and she was basically exhausted from the fight and dying. The anglers watch in horror as the GT begins to spiral to the bottom. Luke does the unthinkable. He dives into shark-infested waters to save the fish. On board, his friends are in a panic. Come on, Mike. No, don't worry, it's only a fish, mate. Come on. Get out of the water. <laughs> Get out of the water. The fish will be fine. I did think about it just as I was jumping in the water, but as soon as I was in, it was, it's now or nothing. It's not a chance that I'll get again, and if I don't take it now and try to make a difference, then I'm not gonna feel right. You're crazy, the shark's here, right? come on. Ignoring his friend's anxious cries, Luke cradles the massive GT in his arms. As he struggles to move water through the giant fish's gills, they both become predator targets. At that point, you step into their realm, you are bait. So uh, there's always that chance. It was a bit more difficult than I had expected because I'd already exhausted my energy so much that I was even struggling to swim myself. So we were almost two of the same. Luke swims with the crippled giant for 10 long minutes. Slowly, the GT shows signs of life. With a sudden furious flick, the Trevally darts away. Luke and his catch of a career have both survived intact. Once I got back in the boat, my arms were trembling, my whole body was trembling, and you know, they were calling me nuts, but they knew I'd done the right thing. Well done. <laughs>